Hello, YouTube. This is going to be... <laughs> um, okay, before I say anything, my friend's in the background, so if you hear anything, it's going to be her. But this is going to be a PMB tutorial oh. on when you save something and open it back up, why it turns um, white. And this, can, this includes the hair, the eyes, the clothes, the skin. This will work for literally everything. Um, so obviously first what you need to do is go to your base, wherever you keep your base is at, and, um, open up a model. And in this video I'm just going to show, um, um, hair and skin. And first I'm going to show a bad example. I'm going to show you what not to do, which means please don't do it. And please don't ask me questions because I'm telling you not what to do. And pay attention. You know, I'm not trying to be rude, but people ask me this like 1,500 times. And pay attention. And it's just really annoying explaining it over and over. And pay attention. Okay, so what you want to do is come over here and click on D, which is this box. And V, which is this box. And then C, which is this box. And then an optional box, which is S, because that's subscreen, which I prefer because the bones and the joints and all that crap on it. So, what you want to do first, let's come over to this box, which is a D, and press this, and yes, the model should turn green. And you come over to this box, which is your V box, and click this, and the green should go away. So, what you're going to do first, is since this video is just going to be, I'm going to be showing just hair in the... Um, hair in the body. Um, get at your hair, whatever hair you want, and click and drag. And I'm gonna go qu pretty quick through this part because I have it in several other videos. How to do this? So you click and drag, and this box should come up. Do not click new. You click add. As you can see, it bone alignment. Blah 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 blah. You click OK, and as you can see. The majority of hair will not fit right on the model, and if it does, you're very lucky, because most of them will not. So you have to move it, and how you do that, you come over to your V-Box, and every single new thing you add on starts out with 0, 1, blah, 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 blah. So you click on those, and then the whatever it is should turn green, and after that, you hold and select all the green stuff, and it should turn orange. And then after that, you come over to this box, which is your C box, and then you can move it. And I'll go over here so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, and what this wire right here moves it up and down. And I'm not going to try and make this look perfect because since this is just like a little tutorial thing. Oops. So I'm going to move it up a little bit. Okay, uh, I guess it looks fine. Okay, so after that, it's time to add on your texture. Um... If you don't know how to get a texture, you just you can go on deviantart.com and go. You can just type in like Miku Miku Dance hair texture or whatever, and I'm sure you can find it. Or you can go on Miku Miku Dance Mall, or you can go on um, um, MMD Resources, any of that stuff, and you'll find them. But uh, to do the texture, again, I'm gonna go pretty quick through this because I've already explained this in several other videos. You come to back to this box. You click on MA, which if you've noticed, MA refers back to all this crap. Um, and you find the, the thing that you had, so zero and ones for my hair. And this is not necessary, but to make the color brighter, you can change all these to white. All I do is um, click on it, and then click on white or whatever you want, and then change all those. But I don't really feel like doing all that right now, but you guys get the point. Um, but do, to do the texture, you come down here, actually it says texture, and so this one's in here, which I don't want. So, you type in whatever your texture is, in this case, the texture name for mine is, um, green, and my file is a PNG. And it does this for most people I know, when you're typing in textures, it lags really bad, I really don't know why it does that but it might it might take a little bit and then usually what I do so it goes quicker is 
whenever it's done slowly typing, I'm just going to copy it uh, and paste it in the next one so I don't have to wait for this all this crap again because I don't feel like it. Okay, as you can see, there's my texture. I'm going to select that. I'm going to copy it. I'll make this one white just because I made the other one white. And then I'm going to paste it back in here so I will not have to wait. And then that's my texture. I know the hair back layer looks weird, but when you put on Mika Mika Dance, it won't look like that. But there's your texture. And after you've done that, what you can do uh, is you just save it. So you come over to this box again, file, save as. And again, this was a bad way not to do it. The bad way. Um. You save it in the folder you already pre-saved or make a new folder. And then save it to whatever name you want. And then after that, this is where people said I started having problems. They'll exit out after it's done saving if my thing will start responding. They'll save it and then um, they'll exit out. And then they'll go on to Miku Miku Dance. And this is where everybody says they have problems. waiting for my Mika Mika dance to come up now. I don't think it's going to because it's going to be stubborn. So I guess get PMD back up I guess. And that's still being stubborn as well. Finally, there we go. Got Mika Mika Dance up, so I'll have to exit that PMD off when it comes up. But, um, like I was saying before, people start having problems when they wanted to load it to Mika Mika Dance or when they opened it back up to, um, uh, PMD. So open it, and then this little box will come up, and you gotta click OK. My computer would stop lagging so bad. My computer starts to lag really bad when I start recording. Okay, this, this box should come up and click OK. Minus two. And then see, people will see this and they're like, oh my gosh, what the crap did I do wrong? Well, I actually did plenty of things wrong. And they're, they're important things too, I'm not going to lie. So, obviously nobody wants a white model. And fixing that is that it's actually it's easy, but it really is a bad mistake. Um, so what you need to do is you actually do not need PMD for this. You actually just need to go back to your file and find where you saved your model. So in this case, I saved it in practice bad folder, and there it is. If you've noticed something, none of the textures are in here, which is a boo boo, because to have a texture, you need the texture in the folder. So, the only way to fix that is to go back to your base folder and you have to select everything that's in that folder. You don't have to select the, the actual model folder, but you can just delete that later. Um, and so, as you can see, this one has all this crap. So, what you need to do is select all of that and don't do not cut it, just copy it and... <coughs> go back to your folder the your models folder and then you want to um, paste that stuff in the folder and so then after you do that and so instead of having to do that I'm just gonna cut this really quick and then put it in here in the other folder this is what you should do now this is gonna this is a good example now as you can see, everything is in there. My hair. You also need to find. Um, uh, you also need to find your hair texture and put your hair texture in your folder folder as well. So you need. Again, I'm going to say this one more time. Go to the basis folder, select everything that is in there, and paste it into the the models folder that you just made. And like, you don't need like the preview thing. You can totally delete that if you want, and you do not need the actual. Um, base folder itself 
And after you get all the model stuff, save all the other textures you use. If you use any extra clothes textures, copy them, put them in your folder. If you use any other hair textures, copy them, put them in your folder. I'm sure you're getting the idea. Um, and after you do that, when you open, if you want to test and open it, uh, your model backup, all your textures should be there and everything should be fine. So then you should be happy again. So go to practice good. And then click on this. And your model should be happy. And there you go. Now she's all happy and she's all textureful. And that's literally all there is to it. And if you guys have any questions, you can just leave a comment. I don't think you should have questions because this is fairly easy. Um, if you do, just leave a comment. If you want to, if you want me to make any video, like request any videos, just leave a comment or message me or whatever. And I'll try to make them as quick as I can.